What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel, we're going to do a little comparison between chainsaw pants and chainsaw chaps. If you're interested in what I have to say about it, stay tuned. guys let's get down to the real reason why we're here today so if you are looking at chainsaw chaps versus pants this is the video for you so I have no interest in destroying a pair of chaps or pants to show you what they do to a chainsaw if you're interested in one of those videos um, you need to go check out a different channel than this there are tons of videos out there um, one that comes to mind is uh, regular star does a video of where he tests some uh, chaps some cheap Amazon chaps uh, I think they're four ply uh, and the chainsaw cuts right through them. Uh, and then he goes up to do a still Promark version of the chaps. Um, it's a very good video. I'll link it in the top right corner uh, so that you guys can check it out if you're interested in that. So this is not the video if you want to see the chainsaw go through the chaps. But let's talk about pants versus chaps. Okay, so the obvious factor is that one, you wear them as your pants and the other one you strap around you. So uh, when it comes down to it, your, your apron type chaps, you know, you buckle around you and then you buckle down the pant legs uh, around your pants. All right, so once you get these chainsaw chaps on, I find that they are very cumbersome uh, and that you have just a lot of material. They are uh, a little baggy and they stick out. Um, the straps are back here hanging around. They get caught on thorns and stuff like that walking through the woods or uh, otherwise trying to do stuff with them. Uh, if you uh, don't uh, buckle them at all, you can spin around really fast and make them come out uh, if you want. But for the most part, I find these to be very cumbersome. There is a ease of use factor about being able to take them on and off very quickly. You know, is that something that you want to do? I know that a lot of people would rather have it that way. They cut for 15 minutes, they take the chaps off, they want to run the chainsaw again, they put the chaps back on. I get it. If you're a casual chainsaw cutter, then chaps are definitely for you. I just find them a little bit of a pain in the butt when you're trying to move around and you're getting the saw caught on them um, or otherwise you know uh, you're just getting things randomly caught on them so that's what I don't like about these now when it comes to the price you can go mild to wild to extreme with these um, there are you know chainsaw chaps that are over hundred dollars these here are 95 and these are the basic chaps um, you can go all the way down to the cheapest pair on Amazon they're not going to protect you very much but they are chainsaw chaps and there's a little bit of PPE there. Um, so you can go mild to wild. Same with pants, you can get cheap pants. I decided that I was gonna get these Forrester wear pants um, and they cost me 60 bucks, $59.99 if you wanna get technical with it. Now, you can get up into the Husqvarna technical pants and things like that. Um, some, some very expensive pants, upwards of $200 or more. Um, there are those versions out there. So. Um, you know, if you're in a tree all day, you're an arborist for a tree service, obviously you probably want to wear some pants and get that protection and, you know, have the actual pants on. Now, the reason why I prefer the chainsaw pants is because they feel natural. Um, they are always on you. You don't have to worry about uh, just taking these out off and on and remembering uh, to be safe. So I really like the pants. Now originally when I was looking into chainsaw pants, I thought that I was going to have that nasty wool, uh, you know, really thick just uh, on your legs and it was just going to dig and itch and, and just what have I done? Oh my goodness, you know, that's what I was worried about. I got these pants and they are very, very, uh, they're like a silky type material on the inside. Um, I'll roll in a close-up of these pants. Um, I really like them a lot. Uh, they are really comfortable. Um, the only thing that you have to worry about with pants is that when you sweat in them, you're sweating your, your perspiration directly into the material. So it's something that you're going to have to uh, wash more often. Chaps, you could pretty much indefinitely never wash them because you are wearing them outside of your regular pants. So it's not like you're dripping sweat or anything into the chaps. 
With pants, you're going to have to wash them every, every couple times. Um, I have washed these three or four times this cutting season. Um, you'll, you'll, you'll know it. You'll, they'll start to get ripe and you'll go to put them on and you're like, whoo, I need to get these bad boys cleaned. So just throw them in the washer. They're, it's that easy. Um, it, it's very nice. I like that there's protection only on the front. Um, it does offer a little bit of protection in the back, but no more than a pair of Carhartts or Dickies of what I wear. So um, I like that they're nice and heavy in the front. These have got pockets. You know, your chaps just, you know, the straps are everywhere. I just don't like chaps. I'm just going to say it. You know, I, I, I can't get down with chaps. I own a pair, but I don't wear them. So when it comes to durability, they're both about the same. Um, they're both going to protect you. Um, they're seven ply, nine ply, stuff like that. Um, the pants that I have on are nine ply, so they're equal to um, the still Promark chaps that are double the price. So why would I buy the chaps that are double the price when I can get the same protection and a lot more comfort and ease of use and just uh, being agile in these bad boys? Um, you know, for half the money. So that, that's how I look at it. Now, it's all subjective to everybody in their situation. So one thing that I want to note is that if you buy a pair of chainsaw pants, you are limited to whatever size that you buy. So I'm in a 32, 34 version of these pants. And if I get any uh, bigger than a 34 waist, well, guess what? I've got to upsize my pants or I basically am not going to use them anymore. When it comes to, uh, you know, the chaps, all chaps have big long straps uh, for whatever build you are. It doesn't matter. Um, this waist is anywhere from 30 to 42, so you can cinch them way down or you can have them, uh, you know, go way out. It just doesn't matter. They're, they're very user friendly and one size fits all. As far as the pants go, hey, it is what it is. You're only going to get in that. Um, one area. So I really like these pants. They've got a nice uh, uh, thick rubber padding in the knee uh, and they're really thick. I, I really like them. So the price point is there. The durability is there. I just like having them on all the time. Um, I would not wear them in the summer. Anything over 60 degrees you're going to burn up in these things. I feel like I have never worn them in the summer because I don't cut wood in the summer. So uh, you know, I think that you would sweat in them if you did wear them in warmer weather. So just keep that in mind. You might be able to breathe a little bit more with chaps. Um, they're just going to be maybe a little bit more cumbersome than a pair of chainsaw pants. So I really like the pants. Um, that's what I have to say about it. Life expectancy would probably be the same. Um, the comfort and the, and the uh, bulkiness is literally what you're getting out of the other. Um, if you're a ch casual chainsaw cutter, go with the chaps. If you're a tree guy in the tree all day, you better have some pants on because they're just all that much better. So uh, that was a quick down and dirty review of how I feel about them. Um, I hope that you got some good information out of this video. Put them down in the comments if you're a chainsaw chaps or pants kind of guy or gal and uh, let's talk about it. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. And if uh, well, hey, this is my 200th video, so if you've stuck around and watched this entire video, thank you for hanging out and awesome 200th video on the channel. I hope to see you guys in the next one.